morning. Uh, for this video here, which is the third one in this series, is I'm now going to show you how to properly ball out your fryers. And a ball out is quite simply removing the oil and the sediment from your fryers, adding hot water and a big greaser, and it simply gives your fryers a really deep clean. Uh, this takes about uh, 15 minutes to an hour uh, to do it properly. Um, so again, what we do in this restaurant here is we rotate the oil. So this oil will be filtered and it will eventually end up in fryer number two. This oil here will be filtered and we'll put it in fryer number three. And fryer number three, uh, this oil is now five days old so it's going to be disposed of. These fryers also have the Frylo units in them. Uh, so as part of the boil out process is we're going to remove the Frylo units. We're going to rinse them off the same as we did in the previous video, except this time we're going to add them to this pot of water. From the previous video, the other things that we need uh, to do this is what we use in this restaurant is some steel wool and a little bucket. Uh, we have a strainer and a common mistake that a lot of restaurants make is when they do a boil out and they take the dirty water and they put it in their barrel system or their disposal system which uh, in this particular restaurant that costs money so we suggest you not do that. The disposal units or the barrels are meant for just the oil and the dirty water can be strained and put down the sink and that will save you a ton of money uh, over the course of the year because you're not paying someone to uh, dispose of water instead of just the oil. Uh, we also have to move these brackets because they are going to end up in that pot. So we'll just give them the rinse. So we're going to put the Frylo units in the water, and again, when we're transporting these things, we try to uh, make sure there's always a bus pan around. Because if we drop them on the floor, it glides the warranty. And we let these boil for uh, 10 minutes. So we just removed our fry low units and our grates, and now we're going to use the crumb scoop. To, uh, to remove the big sediment before we drink. These fryers were boiled out last week, um, seven days ago, because you can see now they're quite dirty. And by the time we're done this in a half hour or so, they'll look brand new again. So now we're going to uh, filter fryer number one. So we're filtering fryer number one using our coal oil filter. And this all will be put aside because we're gonna use this to put in fryer number two. Fryer number three, because this oil is going in the garbage, we don't have to strain. So we're now uh, filtering fryer number two. So with uh, fryer number two, this goes into fryer number three. We'll keep this for later on. Okay, now we have all the oil out of the uh, fryers. So what we do is we take our little rubber spoon and we uh, take out the really large sediment in the coal spot of the fryer so it doesn't clog up our spout. And with this here now, we can now dump it into the barrel. The step that we got all the large sediment out is this is the key to this process. A simple hole is a 25 foot recall hose with a nozzle on it and we use the hot water and our next step is we're going to spray out the uh we're going to spray out the sediment that's now in these fryers nick if you want to have a look at this Now we're getting ready uh, to do the boil out. And this is what's important and what a lot of restaurants miss. What we're doing is we're, now he's gonna put the grates back in because we wanna degrease our grates. 
and he's also going to take off our basket holders and that's going to go in the baskets and the baskets are actually going to be uh, in the fryers for the bottom. So Raj just filled all the fryers up with hot water and now our next step is we're going to add the degreaser and we add about a half a cup. Again the purpose of the degreaser is to loosen up all the uh, oil that has built up over the week. And our next step is we turn the fryers on and you want to be careful that, uh, that they don't foam up and over and overspill, but the fryers, the fryer basses actually prevents that from happening most of the time. So when we hit this point here, we let it boil out for uh, about three or four minutes, and then we turn the fryers off and uh, we start scrubbing. Okay. So Raj, what are you doing there now? So I'm gonna scrub it on the top here while water's in it, and then takes water out, some of them, and then scrub inside. Okay. And he's being very careful, he has the safety gloves on, and he's being very careful not to touch this hot water while he's doing this. So after Rod scrubbed it down, he's now draining the hot water um, off into our uh, stock pot. All right. What Raj is doing next, he's going to take the hot water, uh, we're putting it in the uh, salt area of our dish sink, but first we're going to run it through a strainer to get any big sediment. So while Raj is cleaning out the, uh, the fryer, I'm going to clean the, uh, the holders. frying baskets is we now uh, put these through the dishwasher and the set them on it is nice and loose because of uh, uh, that we just put had them in the hot bun. So after I'm done putting the uh, fry baskets uh, through the dishwasher, it's always a good idea to rinse it down. So what Raj is doing next is he's cleaning out the excess water into the fryers, which is uh, really important because oil and water don't mix and the water will degrade your oil quite quickly if it's not dried out. So these are the fryers uh, after they've been boiled up. So these are our fry limits that's after being boiled. Nick, you want to have a look? Uh, as you can see, there's, although they were rinsed off and clean, there was still lots of sediment on them. So we're going to go ahead and take these things out because we have to rinse them off again.
So before we put these back in the fryers, we want to make sure they're good and dry. filtered earlier on and we put this in fryer number three because this came from fryer number two. This goes to fryer number two. So this fryer here gets the new oil. So what we're doing here is we're topping up fryer number two and fryer number three wood oil so we can start today's business. There you have it. It is we have our fryers completely cleaned and boiled out, our fryer holders and our fryer baskets.